U Emily Bunang Sujit nama hoti konstituensi Uba Charles Marngar haga kenta bu jingkeli hayung dor parto ai ka jela menda ke singi ulapun pau ya ke jing e halor ke jing e kendu bat mat jing e jong ipai ba ka thain ki besa hagi benta kaput jong ka jela ya ke bawa pen ken mauru ya ke jing sya kem baklem nong rim jong ki lengut ki priu hagi pulit asam bat kat kum ke bor jong ukum MDC hagi tu ki por mulai lek kal bala ban pen bet ban pan iram Dah kena keju kesur ulawan rak hakmat jongga ying dor bar tawan jongga jela mentah kesengi bahadin boleh syajid kumu ia melayan nama hati konstituensi. Nalor jongga tegi jengge hagi tanya kaput ubah cal semar ngar ulawan rak ru ia kiwe kiwe kiji jengge jongga konstituensi dah kejeng angnut ban yo pediang ia kebit kebiang hapok ke konstituensi bat kum juru ha kelengi jaka jongga jela kiba mati keju kiji jengge kum belong hapok nama hati konstituensi. Mr Speaker Sir, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity in participating the debate on governor's address. I would like to focus a few points. Point number one, with regard to the home and political. Mr. Speaker, sir, when we look at the governor's address, talking about the safety and the security of the citizens in our state. During the previous year, I don't accept that the overall law and order within the state of Meghalaya was peaceful. When talking about the safety and security of the citizen in border areas, I found that the law and order has totally failed, except the last General Assembly election. If I mention the incident took place in border areas, it will take it will take time. But Mr. Speaker, sir, I just want to remind one incident took place. I just want to remind in this August House that on the 10th April 2022, on Sunday, an incident took place where three people were arrested by Assam police and wrongly accused them that they might have involved to burn the bridge at Sabuda village, which is not true at all. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to inform this August House. No attempt was made by the state government to protect our very own people from such accused. Further, to mention that seven border outposts have been notified is highly relevant in the border area context. But to you, Mr. Speaker, sir, I urge the government to ensure that this outpost has to be set up at the conflict areas and not to outside the conflict areas as inspected by the concerned department in my constituency. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I urge the government to kindly to please maintain law and order for the safety and security of our citizens in border areas. Point number two, sir, with regards 
the district council affairs. While examining the governor's address related with the district council affairs, it has been mentioned that the government would effectively discharge its rules, its role and responsibilities to safeguard the traditional heritage and customary practices. However, sir, as one of the member of this August House and one of the member of the District Council, Cassie Hills Autonomous District Council, I feel sad to see that the DCA has not been able to take immediate approval and assent the important bills that have been passed by the District Council. For instance, some of the bills that have not been approved yet are like number one, very important bill, the Kasi Hills Autonomous District, Kasi Social Custom of Clan Administration Bill 2022, passed on the 8th July 2022. Number two, the Castles Autonomous District nomination and election of the scheme, Deputy Scheme Bill, passed on the 8th July 2022. And number three, sir, the Castles Autonomous District appointment and succession of chief and headman, nine amendment bill. 2022, passed on the 8th July 2022, and many other bills still pending. Mr. Speaker, sir, in addition, when we are talking how to strengthen our autonomous body in our state, I feel sad to see that last year the Meghalaya government issued a notification for extending the CRPC and CPC. This shows that the government has taken over the power of the district council. Therefore, to you, sir, I urge the government, if we want to strengthen our autonomous body, autonomous bodies in our state, we have to take immediate steps, especially to pass, to ascend the clan bill, the Kasi social custom of Clan Administration Bill 2022 and also another bills which still pending. Point number three, sir. <coughs> Regarding the District Council affairs, also when we look at the sanction amount of the government to the District Council, based on the recommendation of the 15th Finance Commission on Health Sector during the award period 2021-2022 up to 2022 up to 2023, it's very unfortunate to say that till date the, the government has not released, despite the fact that the guidelines had clearly mentioned that within 10 working days, the state government has to release the sanction amount. Mr. Speaker, sir, with regards to health and family welfare, I also want to mention a few points in the governor's address. In the governor's address, it did not mention anything regarding the welfare of the ashes 
in our state. I feel that this, this is an important issue that needs to be taken care of. With regards to arts and culture, arts and culture department is one of the departments that the government has to take many initi initiatives to preserve, to conserve, to promote our talented youth in the state. It is important to set up one cinema hall to showcase the Kasi, Jantia, and Garo films, to uplift the local filmmaking and film tourism. Last but not the least, Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard to border areas development, it is important to focus more on major development works in the border areas as it will help to prevent encroachment from the nearby state. Once again, I thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, and with these few words, and conclude, I conclude my speech and resume my seat. Thank you, sir. Thank you.